to place the families which are already loaded I go to architecture door and let's say that first I need the single swing door it comes with only one type 12 by 12 I go to the floor plan view and simply place the door if I want the door to open to the opposite side I simply move the mouse to the opposite side suppose that I want it to open this way so here's my door in plan view and elevation views and 3d views at any point if you want to change the orientation of the door you can click on the door and use the flip controls like this now the door is opening towards the interior side of this wall let's reverse that action by using the flip control again To close the door, you click on the door and find the rotation parameter and set this value to zero and apply. As soon as you do that, the east or south elevation in this case will show the symbolic lines representing the swing of the door in elevation view. To create another version of this door with different dimensions, you click on the door, then go to Edit Type, then click on Duplicate, provide the new name. Suppose we want a large door which is 40 feet wide by 20 feet high and let's click OK and then we change the rough width parameter and the rough height parameter so let's begin by entering 40 feet for the width and 20 feet for the height let's click OK and we have a 40 by 20 feet door if the door becomes too large you might be exceeding the maximum size for the panels in between the mullions which is 60 inches in if you click on the family and if you read the instance parameters you will see that there is a warning about that dimension being too wide in this case the vertical spacing is almost uh, 9 feet 9 inches and the horizontal spacing is also exceeding the 60 inches so you can change the number of vertical mullions until these two parameters say OK suppose that the number of vertical mullions is let's make it 8 now the vertical spacing is OK now let's change uh, the value of the hor horizontal mullions to be 4 now both dimensions are within the limits to place the motor for this door you either go to systems mechanical equipment or from the project browser families mechanical equipment motor for single or bifold crown doors click on the name of the family right click create instance place on vertical face and you can place the motor close to the door or you can place it far away from the door the family contains an electrical connector and you can connect the motor to an electrical panel to place the bifold family and use its features is a similar sequence of steps architecture door in this case let's click on the bifold 12 by 12 and let's place the door in this wall and then let's place the motor systems mechanical equipment 
and this is the motor for this other door at any point you can change the size close the door change the rotation etc and you can see your families in a realistic mode and apply different materials for the mullions and for the panels in between the mullions. In addition to the single and bifold doors, now we have another new model, the 5050. Architecture door, this is the new 5050 door and I am going to place it right here in the model. As you can see the initial uh, setting is to have the door open and the size is 14 by 14 feet. If you need a different size simply click on the door, go to edit type, duplicate, provide a new name and then change the dimensions of rough width and rough height. Similar as we have described in the previous uh, parts of the video. Mm, the door comes open, um, fully opened, which is actually some 87 degrees, not 90. Even if you enter 90, the maximum is 87. If you need to close the door, simply select the door and find the rotation of door parameter and set this to zero and apply. In the elevation views you will see the symbolic lines representing the swing of the door and when the door is open, suppose I open it 45 degrees, there is a projection of the opening on the floor, same as in the previous families. If at any point you don't want to see that projection, you can click on the family and turn off the show projection of door swing in plan. To close the door again, you can change this parameter back to zero. Well, so now we have three types. Remember for each of these doors you need the motor. So in this case if I need a motor for this new door I can I can load the family or if it is already loaded I can do create similar for example and place it close to the door like this. In addition to the Revit families shown in this video, in 2017 we have added a new family for a, a motor that controls uh, doors and windows. Let me uh, find that family and load it into this sample project. I will place it on face, on this wall to uh, control this uh, door for example. The new motor contains an electrical connector with the same properties as the motor that we used uh, before. In addition to the existing set of Revit families, in 2020 we have added a new type which is this vertical lift. Here I have the basic 12 by 15 size and I want to copy this to the side and use the maximum size. So I'm going to select that family, copy here and change the type to be vertical lift 30 by 20 feet. As with the other doors, we have the opportunity to change the number of vertical mullions and horizontal mullions. As you can see, there is a warning that 
the spacing for the verticals and the horizontals uh, are too wide. So I'm going to try five for the verticals. That's okay. And four for the horizontals. That's okay. Now I have a, a good size for the panels. If I want to open the door, I go to the opening percentage parameter and enter a value. If I want the, the, the door fully open, I enter 100. And then I, the, the door opens completely. If I go to the floor plans, uh, this is how the door looks in plan when it is open or when uh, it is closed. For the motor, you can use this new motor that we created before. So I'm going to do match properties between this new motor to replace this old motor. I also want to mention that we have updated, revised, enhanced all the families to version 2018 of Revit. If you have any questions, please contact Crown LLC. In August 2022, we added two new items to the collection of Crown Door families. The new families are the bifold electrically actuated window and the single swing electrically actuated window. We changed the usual doors category this time and classified these new families as windows because these are smaller versions of previous families and they wouldn't have enough head clearance to be classified as doors. Here we have some uh, two instances of each of these families. This is the fully open single swing and that is the closed uh, presentation of the single swing. This is a closed uh, bifold family and this is a fully open bifold family. I want to turn around the model to see the, the side view of the bifold and the single swing. And in, in the plan view, they look like this. If you have any questions, please uh, contact us. Thank you very much.